This is Radwood 2019 in the making. Got some co-pilots over here in the 1989 and a 98. Back on the road we go. This is Saturday, December 7th. We're headed to Radwood, AKA Rainwood, in the 1989 Dodge Lancer Shelby Turbo 5-speed. Just getting staged here at Oak Canyon Park. This is the offloading, so you can see my SLX is in the truck there waiting to come off. And then we'll go find a parking space. Interior, unbelievable. Push button start and the whole nine. It's a brochure I think I gave them. This headlighter was steam cleaned. All the seats were reupholstered. And custom mats, custom uh, wood grain trim here. This is all new leather. Looks amazing. Here's the back. Look at these posters, hand drawn by none other than Dave Merrick himself from the Acura Design Studio. Rob Pia from the Acura Legend community. He's a longtime member of the group. Look at this 89 Bass Legend. Beautiful coupe. Five speed. It's actually getting sold today here. This is the first ever Acura Legend Coupe being sold at a Radwood event. Are you oh, getting a... I got a phone call. Oh, hold on, hold on. Say here. Hey. Hey, are hey, you yeah. going... Did I'm he just Radwood call right you? Now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the, the car? Oh, yeah. It's, it's brand new. Brand new. Mike's Miata and Prelude over yonder. My friend Travis's Legend Coupe over here. 95 LS came in white. These are a couple very clean third gen Integras. Here's a Type R, in fact. Rare find right there. <laughs> Look at this guy. There you go, Ethan, doing his thing. Um, okay, here we go. The star of the show, lest we forget, is the super rare Toreador Red 1998 Ford Contour SVT 5-speed manual. Owned and preserved by Jason. Awesome car. Can't believe it, but the owner of the SLX from before I owned it, right there, why it came to spectate. Brett, thanks for coming out. So I just, I'm capturing Wyatt's reaction here. This is not what he expected to see today. Not at all. A year later. <laughs> uh, just wrapping up here at the show venue and had a couple signatures on the dash. We're gonna hit the road. 4 or 5 p.m. Arizona time, so 4 p.m. California time. We're gonna go ahead and hit the highway home. So next stop is probably fuel and road snacks. Then we will press on Interstate 10. Looks like we should be home in Phoenix around 10 o'clock, hopefully. So the old beast is doing okay. I got the ABS light and a brake light on, but I think the brake light is gonna self-correct as soon as I get some uh, brake fluid to top it off. Wish us luck. Chris, we're gonna do a quick uh, check of our fluids here. I know we're low on brake fluid because the brake lamp is illuminated. We have about 250 miles to go back to Phoenix, so we'll keep it, uh, keep it topped off for sure. 
And no blog is complete without a video or a picture of the food, right guys? This is the Courtesy Diner in Blythe. It feels like it's stuck in 1975. That's kind of why I like it. It's the last fuel stop before rolling into Phoenix area. Still getting some rain, unfortunately, but we're almost there.